Hi guys! I am very excited for today's YouTube video. It is one that I have been waiting to be able to do and it is to begin documenting my IVF journey. And before I get into showing you all the videos of all the injections and appointments and everything, I first wanted to give you a quick overview of what IVF even is. So I'm getting a lot of questions about why are you doing IVF and why do you need these injections? The short answer to why we're doing IVF is because my husband Luca and I have been trying to conceive for 21 months now. And after 12 months of not conceiving, we went to a fertility clinic. I go to Southern California Reproductive Center in LA and we began doing fertility treatments. I did do two IUIs, both were medicated and obviously neither of them were successful. We decided to take a break and not try. <laughs> and if we weren't successful in conceiving, then we were gonna start IVF and that is where we are at today. And then as far as what IVF is for, so IVF is in vitro fertilization. And let's just say you're not doing IVF at the beginning of your cycle, so day one of your period, you start with X number of eggs, let's say 20, but this number varies depending on the woman. Let's say 20 though, and throughout the month, one of those eggs, typically only one, is going to grow to be the biggest or most viable, and then she's going to ovulate that egg. Now, in the case of IVF, because they are trying to get as many viable eggs as possible, they want to grow all of the 20 or however many you start with, they wanna grow all of those <laughs> to be as big as they can. So it's pretty much it. In a normal cycle, you would only ovulate one, but in an IVF stem cycle, you want to grow as many of your eggs as possible to be as big as possible. Then they take them all out in the retrieval process. And then I do mention this later on in the blog, but there are two different kinds of IVF cycles. There's fresh and frozen. I'm gonna be doing a frozen cycle, which means we are gonna be waiting two to three months possibly before we actually do the transfer. And the transfer is when they take the fertilized embryo and they insert it in me and hopefully it sticks. <laughs> and that is when I would become pregnant. So I'm still at the very beginning of a very long road, even though I'm so grateful to just have made it here finally, because I've been waiting obviously for 21 months to get, you know, at least close to the finish line. So there is a light at the end of the the total but we still have a ways to go step one of that process which is my stem cycle when I'm going to be doing all the injections all of the blood work and ultrasounds to grow all of my eggies <laughs> to be as big as they possibly can and here we go <laughs> gone a lap 225 units subcutaneously once a day. Subcutaneously is into fatty tissue and we're gonna pretend this is Anna's belly straight in it does not have to be perfect. You are a little bit at risk for hyperstimulation yeah. because today you had 22 follicles. Okay. That's really, really great. Yeah. But we just want to kind of monitor you, make sure it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Our injection lesson is done. Luca did it all since he's gonna be the one doing the injections. How did you feel about it? I, f I felt good about it. It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot, it's a, a lot of different injections yeah. and medications. So starting on Tuesday, three injections a night, and then at another point in my cycle, they're gonna tell me to add a fourth injection. Then I do the egg retrieval, and we are doing a frozen transfer. So there's a fresh transfer and a frozen transfer. So fresh is where they, oh, I'm probably using the wrong term, um, where they implant or transfer the embryos. Um, yeah, transfer, that's what it is. So they transfer the embryos right away in a fresh transfer. In a frozen, obviously they freeze the embryos, and then they transfer them at a later date, um, at least like a month later. And from my understanding, the reason why a frozen transfer is more successful is because that month is giving your body time to recover from the retrieval and all of the hormones and injections that you've been doing kind of like gives your body time to go back to normal, so to speak. So yeah. And also because they test the embryos, right? They test the embryos as well. Other than that, that's it. So we just have a few more days until we get started. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have to say I'm feeling so much better after having this appointment. So I'm going to SCRC, which is Southern California Reproductive Center. My doctor is Dr. Alexander, and they went over all the injections with me and like had Luke, you guys saw, I had him do like an example injection, and I just feel so much better after going through all of that. So yeah, so far, so good. <laughs> Hi, Riga Tony. So Luca got a refrigerator for our IVF medication. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it was a tip that the nurses gave us. They said that a lot of people get a fridge. I think it's a lot. There's gonna be a lot. We definitely gonna. Have yeah, like space. I, we don't have space in our fridge. It's either food or medications. So, <laughs> yes. so that's why we got this. <laughs> The pharmacy always sends their medication with these caramels and it's seriously my favorite thing. I like look forward to this package for the caramels. I feel like I'm 10 going to the doctor and getting a lollipop. <laughs> All right, so this is the majority of the medication that I received and here is the list of everything that I'm gonna need to take over the next few weeks. <laughs> Here is the calendar that they gave me. So this is when I start stims and then all the way through here. And then my retrieval is tentatively scheduled for the 22nd. This is everything that was in the box. So there are three shots that I'm gonna start doing every night, which is the Gonal F, the Menopure, and the Omnitrope. This one has to be refrigerated. And then once I'm told, I will start with the Ghana Relics. So everything else is a bunch of needles. So this is mixing needles, injection needles, mixing, need more mixing needles, syringes for Menopure, and these ones are in other injection needles. I think these are different sizes. Oh, more syringes up here. <laughs> and then if you guys wanna see, keeping it real, the price tag for all this, $3,000. And this is only the medication for the retrieval. And I already showed you guys this, but it might make a bit more sense with everything I just showed you. So I start one, two, three injections on Tuesday. I start an antibiotic here, both me and Luca. And then I start Gana Relics when they tell me to. And that is it. And then of course we got a Sharps container <laughs> and alcohol pads. All right guys, so we actually were missing a prescription. So we had to get one more delivered. <laughs> we can get it out of here. This is the Gonal F medicine injections. And so another $2,400 for medication. Yay. <laughs> and more caramels. Yay! <laughs> the relics. I don't need that until four. Oh! No, rigatoni. Rigatoni. Go to your bed. Go to your bed. <laughs> You're Wait. just in time. Are you about to do it? Mm -hmm. You do it at night? Yeah. Or twice a day? Mm -hmm. At night. Are you nervous? Oh, <laughs> Luca. So, so far, we haven't done any injections. We are re watching a video that we recorded during our injection, like, lesson appointment. And I'm so happy we did it because, right, this is intense. Yeah. And yeah. they did give us some videos to watch online of how to do everything. But since this is like, once she explained it, it like makes so much more sense. Hey. And highly recommend doing a video of your injection lesson. Okay. <laughs> yes, Rika Tony. <laughs> What's up? What oh, his tennis ball is in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, come here. Come here. Go get it. <laughs> Push in that same amount, and now we are going. If you see me pushing in 
to lay down, no? Okay, so you just need so to go lay down? Rig goes in the bedroom okay, okay. and Foxy is Rigatoni, come here! Come here, honey! And Foxy too. Come on! I'm tricking you! Come on, Foxy! <laughs> okay, so you just need to go lay down and Foxy is going to lay down next to you. Okay. You want to do the gonna left right now so you're distracted? You do? Let's go get the gonna left ready. Let me go get it. That really stung. They said that, but that's what's gonna stung. <laughs> it feels like a bee. <laughs> it feels like a bee sting. I think we should have numbed. I think that was a lesson learned. Stay inside. Mm -hmm. So it's 2.25, okay. okay. Let me double check it's zero, yeah, it's zero, done. Can you please not spin that thing while it's <laughs> in sorry. my, in my. I did spin, it's sorry, <laughs> sorry, it's spin. Sorry, <laughs> I definitely spit it, but it wasn't. <laughs> I hate to see if it wasn't, uh, if it went to zero. <laughs> I felt that. Oh, Sorry, I hate to see if it went to zero. I probably should have, you know, placed it first. Plan ahead. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh my god. Go on, great. <laughs> really hard to move the camera still. <laughs> Like she just said, that like go slowly because it's still it's gonna sting, so it's on. I allow my patients to put like an ice pack on for five minutes. Oh, ice pack, right before the injections, like right before. Next tomorrow, we have still two days. That's it? Yeah. Oh, that was 
like the easiest one because you know you didn't spin it around when it was inside. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll be better tomorrow. Okay. Okay, night one done. Alrighty, it's not that bad. Like it sucks, but it could be worse. Just the men up here. It seriously feels like a bee sting. Let me just buy a finish paint so you repeat. Release then inject. Release the pen to inject. Just because you don't want to like. I release then inject. No, I inject and then release. Go. No. Awesome. Wait. Now this Did I do it? Right? Did I do it right? Did I do it right? You. Injected. I pinched. Injected and then released. Yeah. They said to release before injecting. You, yeah, I did that. I did that. You pinched, injected, release, released, no. yeah. and then. No, no. I pinched, injected, released. No. Wait. I pinched, poked you. Poked, yes. Released. Released. And then injected. injected. Yes. Yeah, I did yeah. that, yeah. Alrighty. You're done, we're done. I'm gonna clean up here, and we're done, yeah? Done. Yeah. We're just preparing to do tonight's injections and we don't have any more men up here left. I have no idea why. What do I do in this case? 